Hello, I'm Pablo Penas from Corsin, and in this video I'm going to talk about the C111 Multimode Contour Generator. It has four envelope generators that can be combined to create envelope shapes that goes from uh, AD, ADSR uh, to other shapes that are not possible using normal envelope generators. The balance between the first and the second envelopes is controlled by this knob and this is the combined output. And the same for goes for the third and the fourth envelope. This is the knob and this is the combined output. Let's talk now about the individual envelopes. Each envelope has an attack and decay control uh, it can, or release and it can be set to attack decay or attack sustain release. When the envelope is set to attack decay mode, the envelope operates in trigger mode. That means that the time that the gate is on is not important. As soon as it receives a pulse, the envelope will start to rise. The attack phase will be always completed. If another pulse or gate uh, signal arrives during the attack phase, it will be ignored. The envelope can be only retriggered during the decay phase. In attack sustain release mode, the gate length is important. When a gate signal is received, the envelope will start its attack phase until it reaches the sustain level. It will stay at this level while the gate signal is present. When the gate is off, the envelope will start the release phase. If the gate is shorter than the attack time, the envelope will go directly from attack to release when the gate disappears. As you can see, envelopes A and B are triggered by the same gate signal. This is because gate A and gate B are connected internally. When a gate signal is received on gate A, it will also trigger the gate B. Uh, this connection will be broken if you insert a jack on the gate B. This is very useful because you don't need a multiplex to trigger uh, both envelopes uh, to create, for example, a sequence. And you can control the filter and the BCA with the same gate signal. Let's now use a sequencer to show how the different modes affect uh, the sound. Uh, we have now the first envelope uh, controlling the BCA and the second envelope is controlling the filter cutoff. Uh, as you can see, the first envelope is in attack sustain release mode and the second is in attack decay mode. If you have a sequencer that has gate length per step, the difference between modes can be really, really huge. Let's talk now about the loop mode. In loop mode, the envelope uh, triggers itself. Uh, it doesn't need any external gate, as you can see. Uh, the envelope is triggering and is looping. This mode allows the envelope to be used as low frequency oscillator, and the fastest that it can go is more or less like 60, 60 Hz. In mode attack sustain release, is a, if a gate signal is received, uh, this is what happened. During the gate, the envelope will stay on the high level while the gate is present. As soon as the gate is released, the envelope will continue uh, looping itself. In attack decay mode, the envelope uh, will only retrigger if the gate signal arrives during the decay phase of the envelope. Let's see now how to use both envelopes together. As I said before, envelopes can be combined to create different shapes. Uh, in this case, we are going to create an ADSR envelope that has an attack decay phase, an attack sustain release phase, um, uh, attack that has to be the same in both envelopes, uh, a decay phase that will be from the first envelope, and a release phase from the second envelope. The balance uh, adds here a uh, sustain. 
as you can see, when the gate is received, uh, the attack starts, decay until the sustained level, and as you can see, the balance knob adds a sustain. As, as a sustain. When the gate is released, it starts the release phase. Let's try again. Attack, decay, sustain, and release. Now we are going to create a variation of the ADSR envelope. Uh, it's an envelope that has a longer attack on the attack sustain release envelope and shorter attack on the attack decay envelope. And as you can see, it has an attack decay, a second attack phase and sustain and release. In the opposite case, if the attack decay envelope has longer attack times than the attack sustain release envelope, we will have an envelope with two uh, phases of attack, one shorter and one longer. If now we change to attack sustain release mode both envelopes, uh, we can have, for example, an envelope that has uh, two release times, one shorter and one longer. Um, and the same goes for the attack. Everything that I have said about the first and the second envelope is the same for the third and the fourth envelope. Uh, and all the modes and all the combinations are explained in detail on the user manual that you can find on the Corsin website. This is not the typical envelope module that you will find everywhere. It's a different concept, uh, really useful, that can be used in many ways. Um, I'm sure that it can uh, find its space in every patch that you made on your system. Uh, if you want more information, please visit uh, corset.com. And thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like it.